Adler, uh, he's on his way. We know that yesterday, right here in the heart of Manhattan, in broad daylight, it was one of the most blatant attacks against another Asian American, a woman in our city. Where we're standing now, a man brutally beat and yelled anti-Asian slurs at a 65-year-old woman who was Asian.
heinous attack. Sadly, this attack was part of a much larger and growing problem of violence against Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders taking root in our communities. We have witnessed Asian Americans bloody and beaten in stores. We have learned that Asian American parents fear sending their children back to schools because of racial violence. And we have observed harrowing videos of verbal attacks aimed at Asian Americans in our public spaces. It has to stop. And sadly, this is another example of an attack where bystanders did not take action to alert the authorities or assist the victim. Words have power. What we say matters. How we treat each other matters. We need all New Yorkers committed to caring for each other to combat this cowardly surge in hate. I encourage everyone to look up bystander intervention techniques without putting yourself in harm's way. We all have the power and ability to come to each other's aid. Collectively, we must confront the rise in hate directly. Name it, call it out, condemn it. Enough is enough.
the diversity of New York City. Look at look at what's here. We have Jewish, we have Christian, we have white, we have black, and guess what? I don't know if we have any Native Americans, but we definitely have Asians here and Asian Americans. And I want you to think one minute that 20 years ago, Gail Brewer was the first politic person to come to the Upper West Side and help us when we needed help with an Asian issue. Gail was there. And I, and I want you to know that Jerry has been here, but standing courageously because she is not Asian. She is Korean American. She is a New Yorker. And when you heard just now Joanne speak, she was speaking for all Asians and all Asian Americans and bravely doing it with a lot of Asians. We have been taught to be quiet, to be quiet, to be quiet, to not complain to not create a problem. So you have not heard us, and you have taken advantage of that, and you have not covered our issues at all. So those of you from the press who are here, you're suddenly here because six women were killed in Georgia? What about all the women in New York City who have not been helped? And I want you to know I was born in Harlem in 1934 because the white hospitals in Manhattan would not let our Japanese doctor deliver a baby south of 125th Street. You young people didn't know that because you weren't even born there. But I want you to know that when World War II came and my mother was under house arrest by the FBI, I didn't know that she couldn't leave Manhattan. There were Chinese neighbors who said they were loyal. They were not like the Japs in apartment We have not had disaster and problems just suddenly last year because of the pandemic or suddenly because of the six women killed in Atlanta. You all have not covered the issues and you have not, we have had many problems and they have not been covered. And it took Gail, it took Jerry, it took Joanne, and it took people who cared enough to face with courage the problem that all of you did not cover. It is not new. Disaster and, and disaster against women and turning the other way is not new. You are new. That's what's new. You are suddenly covering this because six women were killed in Augusta, in, in Atlanta, and, and you suddenly were waking up to the fact that something was happening to Asian women. So I want you to know that it took the courage of people like Gail and Jerry and Joanne to speak up, but I want to thank all of you because you are new. You are covering this, and you are taking the time to cover it. How many of you covered the story of the young man found in Morningside Park dead a couple days ago? A lot of you don't even know that. But there are things that are happening in our community that you're not covering. So I want to thank you and thank all of you.